John Foster with Monroe Pump. I'm the production supervisor here and today what I'm going to show you is how to do a seal replacement for a 1500 series pump. As you can see I've already detached the motor assembly from the case so your next step is going to be to obviously remove your diffuser so you can have access to the impeller. From there what you need to do is turn to the back end of the motor and you got these four bolts here. You just need to loosen them and they come out real easy and then before you go to take it apart it's it's good to uh, go ahead and put some marks on here so when you go to put it back together you can see where to line up the motor and then from here what you need to do is just get a hammer or something of some sort and just tap it real lightly and then you can see where the motor the motor case split away from right there you can just lift it up and right there you can get your uh, your rotor and from here it's a lot handier if you just put it in a vise okay and then from here once you have it in a vise secured you can just take and unscrew it and then from there you have access to your seal and then just go ahead and get your your uh, motor assembly part back together. Make sure you uh, have your wave washer when you take these apart. There's a wave washer that might come out with it that needs to go back in. So we'll just stick that back in there where it goes. And then from there just line your markings up when you slide it back in there. And then it's easy just to tip it back over again. And you have your your markings here. Tap it back together. And then at this point you can just try lining your bolts back up. Which can be tricky sometimes. That's why it's important to mark it before you take it apart. And just get these sucked up and it doesn't have to be extremely tight just get them snug and then from here now that you have your impeller off you can just take your uh, spring off your seal and then the easiest way to get your seal out is to completely unbolt the mount ring. Get these bolts out and that way you can slide the mount ring off and usually you can just pop your seal out fairly easy. your mount ring slides off and then from there you can just take anything and pop your seal out and then before you go to put it back together just clean the inside of your mount ring out real good Get your new seal. And 
just like you've seen in the first video, you'll grease your mount ring up again. And the first half of your seal. Set it in there and then have something to over it so you don't push something directly against the seal. And just push it in as even as you can. And then from there, just be real easy when you slide it back over the shaft so you don't chip any of the edges. And then from there, you just bolt your mount ring back together before moving on to the second half of the seal. sure you clean the face of your sill real good before you just kind of spray it out. I use contact clean right here because it's self drying so you don't have to worry about cleaning it off with the rag or anything. And then from here you'll get your second half of your seal and then just grease your shaft around the edges without getting any grease on the first half of the seal and then also on the inside of the rubber part of your second seal and then from right here just start it on there and I use like a one inch PVC pipe because it slides over the shaft real easy and you can push it down and then just push it down all the way and then from here you have your spring and notice too that this part that comes with the seal I discarded it you don't have to have it on there and then from there you can put your impeller back on and then your diffuser and then you're right back where we started.